Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and I am back with the Big Sister Challenge. So our Big Sister is currently at work. I did play a day off screen. As you can see, their money has gone up a fair amount. That's because I really just had the girls um, make money. So Farah was actually fishing. That was one of your guys' suggestions. So thank you to Rose Darling, 92 Rose Darling. I'm gonna put your comment up on screen, but you said, Molly, the kids can fish and it counts as a mental skill. So it would be a perfect way to extra, uh, to earn some extra money and get Farah's logic skill up. I had no idea that, um, that's what the fishing did. So big thank you for that suggestion because it did really help to get her uh, skill up. Right, we're gonna go fertilize this, which um, I think today we are gonna focus on playing some more games of chess. There's actually a really cool park, um, which I think this is Daniel from The Sims DE. Um, I will show you it on the gallery. So if I just pause my game, I like kind of giving, oh, didn't mean to go in that. Uh, if we go to the gallery over here and uh, we shall check it out. So as you guys can see, it should be, uh, hmm. Right, I swear this like never works out the way I want it to. Oh no, it's no, it's not that one. Oh man, why does it always reset? It's so annoying. Okay, so it's actually this park right here. It is Daniel from The Sims Fans DE and it's an awesome park. I added it in. I haven't played around with it yet, but it looks so cool. So uh, I added that into our neighborhood so we can go visit the park anytime. I don't actually... Think, oh, it does have a chess table, so that's handy as well. That means we can go play some chess there because I do want to start focusing on Farah's, um, her actual thing. And also I want Riley to buy like a chemistry table. I think chemistry comes into uh, the whiz kid thing. I'm not too sure, but uh, I also want her to steal some books from a library once Farah's gone to school. Don't go speak to anyone. Um, why don't you, why don't you chat with someone? Chat with Max, go for it. Give Max a call. Aw, oh, there's kids over here. No, hang up on Max. What? I'm sleeping. Call later. I didn't realize it was like 6 a.m. Right, we're gonna go ask this kid about his day and we're gonna tell a gross joke to this guy. I wanna get in a conversation with these two because uh, this guy we already know. We were actually um, playing out with him in the park. Dusty Breen, we don't know, but he's cool. He's got like, he's rocking some orange pants. So I am all for being friends with him. We're gonna talk about school. And um, we're gonna quote a cartoon character. I want this guy to get in on the chat as well, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. Why are they? Why are they not like stood like in a circle? Why are they stood like behind each other? It's weird. Okay, now we're stood in a circle. Cool. We're gonna make fun of adults. We're gonna joke about nacho cheese. Joke about weird animals. Oh, he's really sad. Has he lost someone recently? I swear when they get like that droopy flower over their heads, it means that someone's died recently. Oh, and Riley's back from work. She's just grabbing something to eat, so that's fine. Um, I didn't even realize she was back from work, but we got 900 pounds to spend. I'm gonna save that for a little bit because I do... One, there's not much to build on here, I mean, I guess we could just expand the caravan, which I'm hopefully gonna do. Um, so hopefully we can like expand it into a house. I'm not too sure how it's gonna work. I mean, I kind of want like a little living room. I guess we could like expand out this way, which would make sense. Yeah, I feel like we could expand it, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but we'll see how it goes. We shall see. Um, can you like stop talking to Jasmine? Um, go to school. Yeah, you need to head off to school. So that's what she's gonna do um, Riley you are not going to high school would Riley like to skip school? Yes, of course as she always does Riley do not disappear on me woman. Okay, she didn't good uh, Go and fertilize this bush even though it's so stinky at the moment literally everyone uses this bush Well only the two girls, but 
She always gets a negative thing from it. Jasmine, can you go away? Like, she's so annoying. Last time, in the last part, I was really excited to see Jasmine. Now she's just annoying me because she just hangs around my neighborhood like a shady lady. Um, I guess we do need to talk to her though because a lot of you in the last part did say that you wanted to see the Day of the Dead challenge. So we're gonna have to speak to Jasmine. She's the one in control of it. She's the one that can give us like the 411 on this challenge. Don't walk away from me now, now that I need you. Isn't that a song? Uh, the Day of the Dead challenge has arrived for a limited time. Other Sims are already out and celebrating the occasion. Look around the neighborhood for Sims in vibrantly themed reg reg regalia and ask them for a sugar school. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. Completing the sugar school collection allows your own Sims to join in the festivities. Simply place the nine unique schools inside the sugar school display case to unlock the honor the dead interaction. This interaction rewards your household with a 10th golden score and enhanced interactions with the Grim Reaper. Oh no, we got a... Uh, we got thingy, um, mail. Oh, 190 in bills, are you kidding me? I guess we gotta go pay them. Um, so yeah, let's, let's pay those bills. Jasmine has placed a sugar school display case in your household's inventory to help you get started on the Day of the Dead challenge. If you prefer a different color, you can also purchase the case. Nope, don't answer it. Hang up, hang up, hang up. Don't talk to him, hang up. I like how she did actually legit just hang up. She picked it up and then was like, nope, not happening today. Not today, Satan. Okay, we're gonna, uh, where did it say it was? In our inventory or in our household inventory? Um, okay, it's gotta be here. It's right here. Cool. Oh, we also stole some more stuff. So that's cool. Um, we are gonna put this, um, uh, we're gonna put it right here, I guess. I do want to change the color of it. We're gonna go for... What should we go for? I kind of like the red, but I kind of feel... Let's go for the blue. I mean, it's still quite colorful. Why do I have a stitch? That's so bad. Um, we also have a poster. I'm gonna just sell that because we don't need it and I'm also sweet that gave us like 200 simoleons I love having a sim that just swipes stuff from uh from work and you never get caught doing it it's like the best thing ever because it gets us so much money okay so we've done that um so we need to find some people who are uh wearing the outfits is there anyone who's around at the moment um Hello, Vivian, are you celebrating Day of the Dead? No, you are not. Is this person celebrating Day of the Dead? No, she is not. Okay, well, we're gonna go to the library and check out uh, if we can steal any books over there. So, uh, yeah, let's head to the library. I mean, it's only half nine in the morning. I kind of want to steal a kid's book, but I don't know if we'll be able to. If we can't, I'm just gonna have to buy one because then we can read to um, the little one. Hopefully, um, she does count as an adult. Right, so we're gonna go to the Willow Creek Archive Library. We're just gonna travel by ourselves. We don't need anyone with us. We're an independent big sister who don't need no man. So uh, yeah, let's go here. And I don't know whether we can steal from here. I'm not sure if it's a thing. Um, okay, no. However, if we open. Oh, there's no, seriously? There's no books in these? Where are all the books though? <laughs> really, for real, where are all the books? Hmm, this makes no sense. There's apparently no books around. Um, she was gonna go swipe a thing. Can we swipe anything around here? Um, we need to work on our mischief more. That's what we need to do. Cause we definitely need to swipe some better things. Right, let's read something. Let's see if there's anything here that we can read. Okay, so she's got one book. The Fifty Shades on my windows. I don't think that's a kid's book. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's a kid's book from what it's based upon. 
So we shall see. I just want to see if we can... Uh... Okay, so we can swipe books. Can we just stick them in our inventory? Let's stitch school and go play hooky somewhere. He wants to go to the Narwhal Arms. I mean, I would, but I kind of need to do things today. So uh, we aren't going to do that. I want to stick this in a place where no one is. Okay, sick. You can actually do this. Right, let's go here. Dude, did you just... Why did you try to swipe? I was going to get you to a... Oh my... Why did you do that? I was gonna get you to swipe this one and then she just goes and goes for the- Oh my goodness, that's so annoying. You're so irritating. You well could have swiped that one because no one was in the room. Riley. Okay, also a lot of you were saying I don't get that adults thing. Like, I think you can bend the rules a little bit. And that's what I like to do on my challenges, to make them a little bit more me. So uh, we're going to give him a rude introduction. I actually did edit all her relationships. So she's actually really good friends with uh, Sophia Burgesson. Um, but considering her dad just saw her, like, swipe something... Um, we're gonna give him a rude introduction and we're gonna work on our mischief with him because uh, that's the way that we can get our swiping up. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to work on our mischief. Um, more choices, mischief. We're gonna ask him about his most prized possession. We're gonna claim to be a criminal mastermind. Basically, he's gonna hate us. <laughs> we're having an offensive conversation. Apparently, we're offending him by being mischievous. I don't see how that can uh, be a thing, but it is. He apparently doesn't like it when people are mischievous. Uh, let's invite him to a fake party. <laughs> I really don't think he's gonna be offended by that, but we shall see. And spread a nasty rumor. Right, what's the cooldown time of this? Seven hours? Are you kidding me? Why is it seven? Also, she's feeling very embarrassed, which is not good. I feel like we need to, um... Oh my god, can you stop being very embarrassed, though? We just don't need her to pass away. Imagine if she died from, like, mortification. That would be the worst thing in the world. That would be horrendous. So, clearly, this isn't gonna work. Um... So what we are going to do is, uh, more choices, oh no, we can order. Okay, we're going to, oh, we can only order, um, I want to order books. Maybe we can only do that at home. Mm, but we're going to go program, uh, and so we're going to go hack this place. Probably shouldn't do this in a public area. Probably shouldn't let people know that we're hacking things. But, uh, <laughs> oh well, let's see how it goes. Is this dude the librarian? Bob. Bob, you have great hair. Are you a, he, oh, he's a young adult. I thought he was an elder because he was like rocking the gray hair, but he's just one of those suave people that likes to rock gray hair. And I think he's pulling it off quite honestly. Um, why are we giving him a friendly introduction? I don't want to speak to Bob. I'm sorry, Bob. You seem like a nice guy, but kind of in the middle of something kind of you know hacking like the world wide web so uh don't want to speak to a librarian as i'm trying to do this don't feel as if i'd be in the good books i'd probably be banned from your library let's not lie now okay there we go i think we've hacked it how much would we get from that i don't know i mean i reckon we're trying to steal some funds but i don't know how much we're gonna get you're not done Stop talking to people. Is this not- how is this not, like, hacked? That's completely there, or is this just crashed? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, it's reached, like, 100% there, but... It doesn't look like we've got anything. What did we just- oh, there we go. Riley hacked Alarmicorn Listserv, and was able to acquire 39 simoleons from their account. Probably not the most amount of simoleons that we ever could have got, but you know what? It's more money in the bank. Um, so we're gonna travel home and we're gonna buy, um, we're gonna buy some books so that we can read to Farah and I don't know what else. I do want to buy her something. Okay, we're still feeling very embarrassed. Right, we need to purchase, like, the, um, 
the cheapest bookshelf possible. So that would be, oh, that would be the kids one. Um, but this one takes up less room. So I'm going to go for this white one and we can stick this in her room, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, I'm going to just put this in Farah's room because she's the one going to be getting the most use out of it. And we will purchase books. We will go for children's. Um, let's go for Chasing the Quadruple Rainbow. Um, this one. Oh, we already have one of them? How? How do we already have one? Let's not go for How I Dumped Your Father. I feel like that's not very good. Let's go for all the $1 ones. How do we have these? Where are they? I don't know. But maybe they just come with the bookshelf. Right, let's go for those. Uh, they can be found in her inventory. So we're going to stick that one in there. And I think we can just read that to her now. We shall see though. Okay, let's breed a frog and let's go for this frog. Okay, so we have quite a few frogs. I actually want to keep them for now because I just like breeding them. Um, I am going to sell some of the multiple ones that we have, but these are like the least rare ones. <laughs> so let's get rid of the doubles that we have. And you guys, that one sold for 30. That's pretty good. Um, okay, we should mm, go take a shower. Yes, go do that. And we're pretty much just waiting for Farah to get home from school. Um, I also don't want to buy a chemistry set just yet until I know that she needs it. I can't really remember what she needs for the WizKid thing, but until I know she needs it, I don't want to spend money on it. But we do need to spend a thousand on kid stuff. We have currently spent 730 pounds at Smolian, so we're not doing too badly on that front. Right, she's doing that. Um, and then I want you to, uh, serve some lunch. We're gonna go for some mac and cheese, which hopefully will go down well. Uh, I don't know. I feel like mac and cheese is what killed off their parents, so maybe it won't go down so well. I don't want to answer the principal's call. Stop ringing me. Why are you so obsessed with me? Should Farrah invite over classmate Olivia? Yes! Oh my goodness, has she made a little friend? Um, I want you to do your homework straight away, considering it is a Monday night. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but I want you to do it. Okay, here we go. We're currently cooking up some mac and cheese for Farah and her little buddy. Um, oh, Olivia's just going straight onto our PC. I mean, she is a little deprived child, to be honest. Let's be real. I, don't, I feel like Olivia Spencer's parents just don't care about her. I feel like she just gets to do whatever she wants to do because they couldn't be asked keeping an eye on her. Like, that is literally how I feel about her. In every single Let's Play I've ever done, she's kind of just been the kid that's roaming around doing nothing. Oh, is she actually coming to speak to us? Do your homework together. That would be so cute. Okay, we got some mac and cheese, so uh, we're also going to grab a serving of that after we've finished. Riley, why don't you go sit down? There you go. Uh, I'm actually going to put this in the fridge so it doesn't go off. Reference pop culture. Okay, we can do that. Uh, pop culture reference. There you go. Do it right now. And she wants to be funny with Riley. That's so cute. These two have such an amazing little bond. I freaking love them. They're adorable together. Uh, debate captains. As a geek, Farah wants to have a nerdy conversation with someone. How do we debate captains? Enthused about new show. Um, it would be, it would have the little glasses next to it, wouldn't it? Oh, it's just enthused about new show. Um... I don't know. I don't know whether we can do that one or not. Okay, she should grab some food. She's almost done her homework, so we're going to open this up. Grab a serving of mac and cheese. Riley, can you... Oh, we don't have an outdoor trash can. Well, that's awkward. You aren't going to go to sleep. No. You're not allowed to go to sleep just yet. That is not happening. How do we read to uh, Farrah again? Okay, read to child. We're gonna read to Farah Metz. We'll try and do this like right now. Farah, are you coming to join? Aww! Oh my goodness, this is the cutest! She's legit reading to her. Oh my goodness, I can't. 
My little babies. This is so cute. She's just here reading to her little sister. Oh my goodness. Oh, my little heart. She's currently so happy eating mac and cheese and listening to her big sister read her a story. I can't. This is so cute. Is this, um, read with an adult for two hours. Okay. Hopefully we can uh, stay here for two hours. I don't know. Uh, it's only 5 p.m. though. Oi, what are you doing? Okay, she is still reading. Don't go to bed. I want you to carry on reading. No, stop it. <laughs> um, has this been an hour yet? I don't even know. No, I don't think so. Come on, keep reading. Stop wanting to go to bed. I know you're tired, but we aren't going to do it just yet. Okay, I need to keep an eye on this. Okay, it's been one hour. Keep on going, Riley. You can do it, girl. How long is this book? I hope it's two hours worth. Oh, no, she gave up. Okay, well, that was one. Um, so I'm gonna... That was Art of Narwhals. So I'm gonna stick that in there. And um, how tired are you? Uh, I mean, you're pretty tired. I should probably send you to sleep. So I'm gonna end this part here, guys. Um, it was pretty much about working on their... Uh, their lifetime goals and hopefully we will get there soon i might play a couple of days off screen again i will start the day of the dead challenge i promise and i'm also thinking of having riley throw a halloween party i know it's not like close to halloween just yet but we're getting closer and i kind of want her to uh yeah kind of feel the need to throw a party so i think we are gonna throw a halloween party which should be quite fun but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this part oh and i just remembered i have some comments to read out so um i'm completely gonna like mess up your name if i try to read it so i'm just gonna put your question up and you can see so it's a question does the lifespan have to be on long for the big sister challenge i was thinking of doing it but i like to play normal it does say in the rules that it's suggested that you are on long just to get most of a story out of it i think i don't think you have to be i mean it could be quite difficult to do it might go a little bit too fast if you're playing on normal but i don't see anything wrong with playing on normal if that's the way you like to play your game do the big sister challenge on normal. It's probably going to be a little bit harder for you because you kind of don't have the time to uh, focus on like the kids' lifetime wishes. Um, so it's probably going to make it more difficult. But I mean, if your goal isn't to complete the kids' lifetime wish, then go for it. And also quick shout out to Moon Death who said, hey English Summer, I just wanted to say I watched you in 2013 and I still watch you. So big shout out to you. Thank you so much for sticking with me for so long. That's awesome to know that quite a few of you are still here from 2013. It honestly means the world to me. And I just love you all. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, leave all of your comments and suggestions down below of what you would like to see in this challenge coming up, whether you would, what you want me to focus on in this challenge, and I will try to include as many ideas as I can. Bye guys!